everybody, welcome back to Kelly Barlow Creations Crafting on a Budget. Today's video is another video request, and this request was a request for a DIY Dollar Tree side table. So today I am going to be showing you how I put this side table together here. This is your sneak peek. So let's get to it and let me show you what all I picked up for this project. For this project, I picked up two of Dollar Tree's four by six frames some of Jot's paper flowers, a tri-fold display board. This is a cute new item that popped up at my Dollar Tree, this hay bale. Three of Dollar Tree's plastic organizing crates, a clear plastic serving tray. I'll also be using some E6000, some of Rust-Oleum's hammered dark bronze spray paint and this craft cord that you can get at Walmart for $2.97 for a one pound spool. So let's get to it and let me show you how I put this together. Starting this project off, I'm gonna take my E6000 and I am going to place glue on the edges of this crate. I'm then gonna take another crate Place it on top, lining it up just so, wiping away any excess glue. I'm then gonna repeat the process again on the top of this crate. I'm gonna let this dry for 12 to 24 hours. My crates are completely dry. They are stuck together nicely. Now I'm gonna take the Rust-Oleum hammered spray paint, the dark bronze, and I'm gonna paint this as well. Taking my tri-fold display board, I am going to take and cut three squares out in the measurements of seven and three quarters by five and three quarters. I've cut my three out. Now I'm gonna take the Rust-Oleum hammered dark bronze spray paint and I'm gonna spray paint these. I'm gonna take my four by six frames. Both frames are covered in twine. I'm gonna use some white flowers by Jot that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. I'm also going to paint this clear party platter with Rust-Oleum's hammered dark bronze as well. I am going to go around the edge of this platter with twine. I'm gonna take the cardboard that I painted and put some twine on the edge of it like this so you're not seeing that rough cardboard edge. Here is the top of our three crates that are painted. I'm gonna take my E6000, trace the top. I'm gonna take my party platter. I'm gonna take and put the cardboard inside. Now let's decorate it. I'm 
And there you have it, everybody. Here is my version of a side table using almost 100% Dollar Tree items. Isn't that stinking adorable? It is farmhouse, rustic, and country. I love it. The only non-Dollar Tree items that we used for this project was the thicker twine and the Rust-Oleum paint. I absolutely love this project. I incorporated my mason jar projects from this week and my mason jar lamp to make it even more farmhouse rustic and country. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And if you're new to my channel, stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube will notify you when I'm uploading a new video. You can also follow me on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and Google+. Those links are in the description box below. Just click on those links, click follow, and you'll also be notified through social media when I'm uploading a new video or just doing something fun. You can also find my P.O. box in the description box below as well if you're interested in sending me mail and watching me open it up in a video. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget, and bye for now. Thank you.